Here's how you make a, a new vendor gallery for your page. You can see the vendor galleries. When you roll over them, uh, it pops up, gives you the, the name of the gallery. And then when you click on them, it actually takes you to the, the gallery for that particular page. Um, these are actually done with image tabs inside of a post. So let me show you how you do that. It's real simple. In the back end of your site, you just go to Posts, and you're going to create a new post. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call this one Test Gallery. You need to make sure you set the category as Vendor Gallery. And you also want to turn off Discussion so that you don't get the comment and trackback section appearing on your page. Now the next thing you do is you need to figure out what images you're going to show. I like to go ahead and load the images up first and then add them to the slider and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll click this upload and insert image. I'm just going to use some of the images I've already uploaded. If you're uploading something new, you know, you would use the, the little uploader to, to add those in. I'm just going to go ahead and grab something that's already on the server. So I'm going to click media library. Go to one of these pages that has some images on it. Okay, I'm going to use these Visio images. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Show. Now when I uploaded these, if you'll notice in here at the end, they've all got a very similar name. There's Visio 13, Visio 14, Visio 15. I did that to make this a little bit easier for me. All I'm going to do is get the, the file URL and then select the content that's in this box. So this is the URL to the actual image. And the reason I named them the way I did, really organized them, is it'll make it much easier to put into the gallery. I only actually have to get the URL once, and then I can go through and change it. So again, I went, found one of the pictures I wanted, and that was this Visio 13. I clicked the file URL, then I just selected this text. I'm going to copy it from my doing a Control or Command C on the keyboard. You could right click on it and choose copy as well. Once I've done that, I can close this window. I'm not actually inserting them that way. Now what I'm going to do is insert image tabs. I use this add ET tabs. The slider type is going to be images. I need to set my width. Now this is important. These images are 660 by 440. And I actually made the images that side. Even the ones that are vertical, I added black on either side of them in Photoshop to make sure that they're 660 by 440. That way they display nicely on the page. So my image width is 660. My image height is 440. The slider type is images. I'm using the fade effect. There's a slide effect as well. I think the fade looks a little nice here. I want the auto set to yes, which means I do want it to change images. The speed is in milliseconds, so 3,000 milliseconds is 3 seconds. You could set that to 4 seconds. You can make that whatever you want. And then tab content is where you paste in that link you grabbed a second ago. Okay. Now, that's going to give me one tab on the page. I'm probably going to want more, more than one tab or more than one picture. So I hit add one more tab. I come down here. I just paste again, and this time I just changed the number. Remember I was talking about having those numbers in sequential order makes it really easy? Since I have them all the same, I don't need to change anything else. I can just change the end number, and it's going to give me the next picture. So I'll go ahead and we'll put in four pictures. I'm going to hit OK. Now I need to decide what picture is going to show out on the front page. I do that using this Set Featured Image. So I'll click Set Featured Image. I'll click on the Media Library. And look, here's the Visio logo right here. So I'm going to say Show. Then I click this Use as Featured Image. You'll see it already built in down there. 
That's all I gotta do, I can close that out. So now I've got all the code, and that code looks a little confusing, but you remember it was pretty easy, we just hit this add ET buttons, and paste it in the link, and then just change the nu those numbers. So even though this looks pretty confusing, it did it pretty easily through this through this little interface here. Then we set the featured image. This is what's going to show up on the vendor gallery listing page that you click on to then go into the vendor gallery. And then we'll hit publish just so you can see what it does. And I'll remove this one in a second. So let's go back to the main site. We're going to click on vendor gallery. And you'll see there's our new, uh, our new vendor gallery logo there. It gave it the name we titled it, so I titled it Test Calendar, that's what shows up. If this was actually one of your vendors, you would put the vendor name as the title for the post. Then when I click on it, I get my test gallery, and I apologize, the internet connection I'm on here is very slow, so these are loading a little slowly. But we've got our four images, and it just cycles through those. But that's all there is to making one of these. I'm going to go ahead and move this one to the trash. I clicked edit and there's a move to trash that unpublishes it from the front of your site. And just to make sure, yep, it's gone now. Blossoms at Biltmore Park is the main picture again.